Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa, and today I'm going to be working on this fun project. Um, these are the ones I got done today. I'm going to show a few of them um, on camera, a few of them I did off of camera. Um, but what they are is simple paper clip um, dangles. Taking simple uh, strips of cardstock, two inches by five and a half and um, a smaller base on the inside, and you have these cute little dangles. Um, I've got them attached to a sheet here, um, but I'm gonna take each one off and show you up close um, what they look like. So fun, right? All right, so I'll move this to the side and we'll go from there. All right, so here is the first one, uh, simple Tim Holtz paper. Um, there's this like blue elephant on there, so I decided to put this. Um, these are shank buttons that go through. I've got a pin on there, I show how to do that, and I've got this cute little dangle on there that is a little watch handled with care. Very cute. All right, the next one is a also the Tim Holtz paper. Um, I've just stamped it with a bunch of things on there. Uh, tickets, travel, it says Paris, and I found this cute uh, charm of the Eiffel Tower. Just add a little piece of ribbon to it, another shank button on there, some stickers, super cute. All right, um, here's the next one, and it is uh, like a French paper, like an advertisement. Got a label there, some stamping. I've got a button that has a nautical kind of um, anchor to it and just this one doesn't have a charm it just is tied with a little cute little bow um, I thought that was um, cute got the date stamped back there um, yeah fun all right so the next one this one has um, another one of those advertising ones a couple labels on there I've got like a lotus flower dangle uh, this is a shank button um, all the buttons and I don't think I mentioned in the video all these buttons are vintage buttons that um, my grandma had that I used to play with when I was a child. So um, I love being able to use them in uh, this way. So there's that one. And then I've got another one of the Tim Holtz papers. And I did a little bit of stamping on there. Also, oops, gotta twist you around. Twist you around. There we go. <laughs> um, also another button, it's like a 3D kind of rose button, but I like the color with it. A couple little bit of stamping on there to go with that also. And it is a light bulb, kind of like the Tim Holtz stamp with the light bulb. I thought that was kind of cute. And last but not least, um, this was a solid Tim Holtz paper that I used. Um, I did all just stamping on there. And I have a pirate, which I thought was fun. I was thinking about putting some ribbon on there, but I decided against it. Um, but I might go back and throw some ribbon on there because the back of the eyelet is not the best for that. Um, yeah, so as you saw in the beginning, I had them um, being able to um, take a signature page and they're able to, um, to slide on there. They stick out of the signature page can see them from both sides. Um, you can do them sideways like that. And um, you can also have them up and down. There. And you can have the dangle going from the top there. You can flip it around. Um, this side just has the button. Um, of course, you'd want to pay attention to your paper. Um, probably throw something better on there so it wasn't showing that it was upside down for it but um, if you decide to do your paper that way you can definitely do one that goes um, up and down so there is that one um, so I decided that I'm gonna stick one in my edge idea book because it's an edge idea so let's stick uh, let's go ahead and stick this. Yeah, let's stick this one all right so we're gonna I'm gonna go one more page, put that on there. I'm telling you, these things are, they don't slide. They definitely stick where they want to. But 
you can see it's sticking out from the book. It's harder to see from this side, obviously, because I got lots of fluff, but put a page down and you can see it's sticking out. Cute, right? All right. Well, that is um, what we're going to be working on today. Um, if you like the video, I'd love to hear a thumbs up from you. I'll take this one out for now so you can see it. Um, I'd like to see a thumbs up. Uh, let me know um, which one you like, if you like any of these. And um, if you have not subscribed to the channel um, by the end of the video, you like it, go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button. We'd love to see you join us. And I'm going to um, let you go and you can watch the process of the video. All right, so let's get started on making some of those cute, really cute, um, dangle charms. All right, so um, how we got started was um, I cut two sizes of strips. The outside strip ends up being uh, five and a quarter. let's get started making some of those fun paperclip dangles. All right, so we need two sizes of strips, one for the outside and one for the inside. Um, so I've cut a, a whole bunch already. I've got some of them folded and, and um, rounded and pre-done um, so that we can get, get it going. So this size for the outside ends up being five and a half inches long by two inches wide. So I cut a bunch of strips that were five and a half by two. Um, I accidentally cut um, uh, yeah, I accidentally cut one five instead of five and a half, but I still think it's going to work. Um, so five and a half by two. And then the inside ones, which you really don't see, so I've just found some random ones with like strawberries on there. Um, I cut those to four and a quarter by one and three quarters. So you can see that it is smaller. Does it have to be exact? No, it just has to be smaller. So uh, the reason that it goes, well, you can obviously see why it goes to one and three quarters from the two, just so it hides in. But the reason it's so much shorter is because when you go to um, glue it in, you want the paper to stop here so that this part is the part that ends up hanging off of your paper. So if this was the same size, you would have nothing hanging off. If you want a lot to hang off, you wanna make this even shorter. But this going from five inches down to, or from five and a half, sorry, going down from five and a half to four and a quarter gives an inch and a quarter. So this is about a three quarter-ish tab, give or take a little bit. So that's why um, there's a size difference between those. Okay, so after you cut your strips, um, all you need to do is fold them in half. Now the inside one, if it's not double-sided, I put the prettier side on the inside because in case, let me get one of those ones that we had done, um, in case it opens up, you can see um, the prettier side instead of just blank. Totally up to you, but it will open a little bit as you're going to put something in there, okay? So we're gonna fold that on that side, and that is where we're gonna end up putting uh, the paper clip. But I got ahead of myself there. So, um, like I said, we're gonna end up folding them in half. This one I'm gonna do the dark green. Now, if you wanna round them, you can. I think they look better rounded. So um, I go anywhere between the largest one and the medium one. Really just kind of depends on my mood, what I feel like it should look like, um, etc. Oh, that one didn't cut. Good. I'm trying to get them not to fly across the room. Um, so I do cut all four sides so that the tab part sticking out is rounded and the part that goes into the paper is rounded. Now for the smaller ones that we are going to fold into itself, um, you only have to do round this part down here so that it's um, so that it sort of equals that. If it was square, um, it could possibly, when you put it down here, it could possibly stick out a little. See? 
Don't want that to happen. All right, I had to turn the light on, realized it was off. All right, so as I was saying, uh, you don't want to have uh, that straight because the ends are going to stick out. So you want to round the part that is open. Easy. Okay, for inking, if you want to ink, what I would say is um, for this part, you can just ink um, the three sides, possibly just because um, they might peek through through the side. Again, when you go into there, it might just peek through a little bit from the side. No, nothing major. Now, for the outside one, again, ink how you want it. If you want to do the outside just to get rid of the white, uh, that is fine. Uh, for ones that are double-sided, I, I wouldn't really worry about it. Now, the ones that are white on the inside, that's where it gets a little tricky because when it opens up, I think I forgot to do one of them. I think I forgot to. Yeah, uh, this one with the key. Um, you can see it's much whiter in there versus this one where I inked um, the inside, okay? So with ones that are more white on the inside, um, I did go through and give a generous amount of inking. Uh, more so near the open end on the bottom that could possibly stick out. Just enough so that when that is over it, it kind of blends. Okay, and then I went back and just go ahead and ink as you will. Now, totally up to you again. If you don't want it inked, you don't have to. Okay, all right, so um, I wanted to ink this one. This one's cute. I did add a label to this one. I saw it laying in the bin and I'm like, oh, that would look cute on that one. So. Um, I did go ahead and put a label on that one already. Now, if you want to decorate these, um, it might be helpful if you did it before you glued them together because um, the item would be flat um, to decorate. Now, these are a little less necessary to do because they are... Um, only going to really get labels on it, but if you're going to do something more where you're going to stamp things on it, like I had done with this one, um, it's easier to have it flat instead of trying to stamp on to the chunky paper clip. So I might throw some stamps on there and there. I don't know if I'm going to throw any stamps on this one. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a date there. I had my, I was saying, I had my tidier. This appears to be sliding. My Tim Holtz sliding, there we go. All right, um, I do have my VersaFine, Oop, little fuzzer, um, for my, I am loving that. And I'm gonna stamp a little bit off just to make it a little less bright on there. And what else can I put on there? Something else? Something else? Got a circle there already. really planning on putting too much on here but that would look cute all right so we'll just dab that off a little just to make it a little less black okay yeah that'll work I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so once you've got your outside done to your satisfaction, then we're gonna go ahead and glue it in. And um, I found the best glue to use for this is Fabri-Tac. Um, you could probably use art glitter glue. 
Um, the reason that I chose Fabri Tac is it does have a bit of wiggle room in case you're in the wrong spot, but I also feel like it's a little thicker since you got to go around chunky paper clips. All right, so I'm just going to put the glue on the one side. I'm going to try to center it as best I can and put it as close to the bottom as I can, uh, just so I leave that is the tab space up top. And we give it a nice press, get it to start sticking, and then we'll do the same on this side, just putting the glue on the small part in the middle, because you don't want to put the glue on the outside because you won't be able to stick your paper in there. Try to get some glue on the paper clip. And fold. Okay. And squish. And chat a little. So I hope your day's going well. Mine's not too bad today. It's a bit dreary outside. It's gonna be cold this weekend. I hear the frost is coming back. I'm like, seriously, it was 80 degrees a couple days ago. Hot and sweaty. Now there's a chance of frost. Make up your mind, I say. Make up your mind. Yeah, okay. All right. So, we can go ahead and try to um, test it out a little bit to see if it got stuck anywhere. Because you don't want it to be um, stuck between the layers. And there we go. It's gonna look cute with the little dangle from right there because of the circle. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, and that's what I forgot to say. When you're choosing your papers, um, when you're looking at, um, let's see, find this big one here that I just cut a bunch from. There it is. Um, so when you're choosing your papers, um, think of if you want to put it on its side, that you want to have the strips going this way. So I cut, I made sure that the width was two inches this way, and it was the five and a half going that way. Um, if I would have cut it this way, then it would have been um, inside. Uh, and that's what I end up accidentally doing with this is I ended up cutting it the wrong direction. So these words are going sideways, which is okay. Um, I can also stick it on the top of a page um, as a tab top if I feel like it. Yeah, um, but keep that in mind when you're cutting your top things. Um, this centerpiece really doesn't matter if it goes any direction or if it's any color, it does not matter. Okay, all right, so. For the uh, charms and dangles, I am going to use my crocodile. You can use a whole bunch, um, etc. And um, I have found several uh, shank buttons to go through there. And um, I've been wanting to use this one, but I don't know if it really goes on this one. I think it might actually go good on that one. So. I do the anchor nautical. It's kind of got the crest on that side. I think I could do that. I like that one or that one. I think I like that one better. Okay. All right. So it looks like that hole is pretty big. So I'm going to use the bigger. Make sure that's a, yeah. So when you put in the hole, make sure it's not in the opening side. You want to put it in the closed side. So it's hanging off the tab. And put our hole. Now, if you want to put a, um, as I say, not a brand in there, if you want to put an island in there, um, that would be a good thing to do um, if you were just doing the dangles. But if you are doing the shanks, um, unless you have big enough eyelets, I would not do that. Okay, so you put that through, and there's one or two ways to do that. Um, you can use the bulb pin to kind of lock it in place, um, or you can take um, some sort of ribbon or string to try to tie it. And I'm wondering if I have some sort of ribbon that would look cute with this. Because there's a lot of pinky purple colors in here. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Um... Now the only thing is, it's trying 
trying to tie a knot with something too fuzzy, it's probably not going to work. So I want something a little less fuzzy. That could be cool. Juxtaposition between bright pink chenille and grungy arm, arm, I say army, navy anchor. both of them out just in case all right so now I do not know where my eyelet threader is so this could be interesting to try to get it to go through but it's a big shank. There we go. All right, let's see if I can make this work. All right, knot it off so the button doesn't want to come back out again. And let's see if I can get a bow. Just gonna shorten up the tails on this a little bit. I'm stuck to my hand. Unstick. Cute. I like it. Let's find my paper. Cute, right? I love it. Yeah, I don't think it needs a dangle on there. Um, I think I might get in the way. So we're just going to go with that. Yeah, cute. Okay. All right. Put that to the side for a moment. And which one can we do next? All right. So let's let's do this one because maybe we can throw I wonder if we can stamp a little bit on this um, with the... I'd like to... I like this pirate kind of made me laugh. So I thought it would be kind of fun to maybe try him. More skill and amusement only. Threads, see what that does. Okay, so we gotta keep in mind that um, the hole is gonna go there for the pirate to hang. So we're gonna wanna um, not necessarily put stuff right in there. We can, um, but can we put on there? All right, so cab's going that way. I 
am loving that VersaFine ink, by the way. Um, it is definitely juicy, but the prints it gives are amazing. Just amazing. Okay. All right, so. What if we put... tickets. Okay, let's, let's do one of these. Just an admit one. Ooh, fresh new stamp, never used. Put some of that on there. That's cute. All right. I think I'm going to need a wet wipe. My hands are getting a bit inky. some stars. Stars are always fun. Okay, now let me grab a wet one. Just, I am just inked up. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, that was bad. Okay, so I think I think I want a little bit of my distress blotches, and I don't know if the brown will work. Let's give it a shot. Definitely throws a bit on there. Okay. All right. Are you pirate worthy? I think you are. So let us get a paper clip and we're gonna go ahead and glue this in. Oops, getting a little clogged. There we go. Oh, 
I hope you're uh, liking these and decide to do some on your own. These are definitely fun to make. Get the glue off my hands would be better, but. Um, and you do not have to do the dangles. I mean, you could definitely just poke a hole in there, um, do some ribbon. Um, if you don't have the shank buttons, um, you could probably uh, glue a button on there if you felt like it. All right. I don't know if I'm going to put a shank button on there. I think I'm just going to go with a eyelet and my pirate. My pirate. Okay. All right. I'm going to make sure that this is not... Not stuck. Wonderful. Now, I am going to go a little bit higher up, I think, for the eyelet. Just so the dangle doesn't hang down as low. And I'm wondering if I should put a reinforcer on here. those blackish ones. I think I'm going to go with the black. Just a you know, I don't like it. Now that I see it on there, I don't think I like it. All right, I'm back. I had to get a black eyelet and oh, no, wrong way. Oh, almost, almost jammed it in there. All right, there we go. Okay. Pump, uh, pumpkin pirate. Cute. Very cute. And if you if I want that to be the front side, I can end up just unhooking. Hooking it and putting them on reverse. Come on, bolt bin. <laughs> there we go. And there it is. Admit one pirate. Too cute. Okay, well, all right. So I hopefully have described everything I need to in this. I have definitely some more that I want to make though. All right, let's get it out of the way. All right, where did that one go with the... All right, I want to do that one because I want to put that on there. So I do have that ready. Let's do that one real quick and see what we can get. I'm trying to keep that Fabri-Tac on its side so I don't have to shake it down every time I want to use it. And that so far has been working pretty good. Um, I recently got these Sugar Bell bottles for the Fabri-Tac. They um, came with this 
um, lid or piping thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so far so good. I should knock on wood. Um, I know when I used to put the Fabri-Tac in this original bottle, it used to do that volcano sometimes where it would just sprout out on me. And I have not had this issue with this um, at all. So... Okay, I don't want the elephant doing a headstand, so I'm going to do it that way. I'll end up putting the bowl pin down there. Or the, not bowl pin, shank button down there. But I think this deserves a couple labels. I had pulled some aside, but I think I really only have the fragile handle with care. But I don't really like it on there too much. So let's see what we can find label-wise. there'd be some blue with that blue but I don't know if it's too light you just never know what you're gonna find in here So I'm going to stop because I could be looking for days. Okay. All right. So it's going to go down there. Throw this over here. off nope. thought maybe I could put it on the other side but just ink the edges on those if they're sticking out So, big hole. Okay. Now, um, the other thing that I didn't show you that I had, um, I found this in with my buttons, are these 
um, like little cotter pins. And I know you can still find these in hardware stores. Um, so I thought that would be kind of fun to use on some of these because it does hold it in and it does give an extra little something to it as well as a charm and I have a key left and a clock. The clock could be cute with that round. Let's do that. And I think I want a silver. See if I got this face in the right way. Or do I have to turn it? Oh, that worked. There we go, shift out. Okay, so it gives a little bit of the dangle with that uh, cotter pin in there, the clock. Yeah, cute. All right, paper. Yeah, cute. All right, well, I am going to, um, I'm going to get this out of the way. I'm gonna film the intro and show you all these. So I'm not gonna do that right now because um, I've made some other ones beforehand and I might make a few after, we'll see. And um, then I will show you all the ones that I did. So I'm just going to say thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you all have a wonderful and creative day. Bye now.